We are in this. Let's go. Breath of Fire 4, part 10. And we are on a boat with a frog who's still smoking. Does this guy ever stop smoking? And Cray's upset with frog. And yeah, we're flying through the desert on the sand flyer because our sand flyer broke. And apparently the VIP room is one of these crates that we loaded onto the sand flyer. Or was that another sand flyer? I don't know. Anyway, uh, at least we don't have like... Uh, you know, sand. I imagine when you're flying through the desert with sand and kicking a bunch of sand, there's sand flying around, so, you know, I'd rather be in a crate, actually. Myself. Nice and cozy. Get, uh, Hello, Enze. I would remind you, I'm smuggling you into the enemy territory. Okay, so we're being smuggled in, so I guess that makes sense. It makes sense, and, yeah, wow, this thing has, like, no... There may be a little room in here. Maybe that's, like, the bathroom. I don't know. Presumably you can, uh, or did they just stop the, stop the sand flyer if you need to use the bathroom? Whoa! Wow, I love how the text is flying around. Cray, you're gonna get us knocked off the sand flyer if you're not careful. Like, calm down, calm down, calm down. We're in here with, with two women, right? Two women, and there's a dude up on top as well. Okay, so we're heading into the Empire, the Empire area, I guess. And now we're back with Folu. Fulu and Fulu takes a break, and we're not going to update this now. And see, he's still, he's still he's yeah he's still level Nintendo 64, and has for, oh okay oh now I see what this Ambrosia does restores all dragons HP to full. I see. So that's you can use that to heal in dragon form. Okay, that's cool. Which uh, presumably you can use that in yourself. Okay, so we could rest here, but I think Fulu has full life. He just woke up after a really long nap, so we're going to save. And I think this is the first time we've actually saved the game as Folu. Yeah, this is the first time we've uh, saved the game as Folu, I believe. So, Folu is in this cabin with Bunyan, right? We last checked in with, in Fol with Folu a couple of videos ago. And how well is my fast button working? Okay, it wasn't working very well a while ago, so I restarted the computer. Looks like it's working much better now. I was getting like one times 1.1 speed or some crap like that. Okay, so here's Bunyan. The time has come for me to quit this place. <laughs> and next time you uh, decide you're gonna go look for another job, you should tell your employer, I think it's time for me to quit this place. And by the way, are, are those... Uh, on Bunyan's knees, are those like leather pads so he can, you know, kneel down and do work, or are they just like torn out from his, from from doing such? And he's got like open kneecaps, which would be bad for pants. So Fulu's on the run, but uh, he doesn't exactly have an army; he just has himself. So I don't see how Fulu could start a war, at least against his uh, the country he thou wert a soldier. Hmm. I don't remember how much backstory Bunyan has in the other games, but apparently this one has some backstory. Hmm. When the first emperor, aka the guy standing right in front of him, I, 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 eh, I believe. What am I fighting for? Hmm. So apparently the uh, the this, this war for whenever Folu unified the Western continent was a really big deal. And mortals apparently could not comprehend what the war was all about. So Folu is now going to leave. And let's see, he's still got his weapons and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, we'll see all this stuff. I'm still curious about that dragon, dragon tier. Like, I know that's the thing from Breath of Fire 2. But apparently it's just a standard equip in this game. Or at least an equip that Folu can can use. Let's talk I guess we'll talk to Bunny one more time. Okay. And I guess we can Oh we can only rotate the camera two ways. Uh let's see. How do we get down from here? Maybe go around the back way? Back way? Oh treasure chest back here. With a two proteins. What do these do again? Uh yeah. See, that's gonna mess me up. Protein is plus one defense, but I'm used to protein being attack in Pokemon, so I'm gonna keep thinking that proteins are attack every time I pick one up. 
So it's apparently defense, and we can go down on here, okay? We're going to make sure to look around for treasures, etc. That's the way we came up, so we'll go around this way. And is there any point going this way? Nope. Big cliffs, look at this. Lots of cliffs. Okay, so we're somehow going to get out of here. So much camera rotating this. Okay, so are we on the world map with Folu somewhere now? Nope, we're still in caves. And can we tell where we are? But no. Okay, I know some games you can like go to the menu and it tells you where you are. And I'm surprised we haven't found any random battles out here. Right on cue, eh? Okay, what do we have now? Ooh, some sort of giant Yan Mega Prime. Uh, this monster attacks with fire, but can't withstand fire itself. That's interesting. So it's like, uh... I don't know what it's like. Oh, that... Ooh, that, that's... That's interesting. Hmm. We have another character who has blind and rest and meditate. So, hmm. So it looks like Folu's skills are synced up with Ryu, or else this is a really weird coincidence. So, anyway, Folu has awesome energy blade attacks that he hits for 2,000 a swing, and he swings twice. So, yeah, Folu is clearly a busted character. This is, I, I just find this so funny that you're given two parties, one of which is, you know, you're kind of your weak traditional RPG start from uh, bare bones party and then you get this other guy who oh he's uber from you know this one nuking stuff and already the big nose dude is here how did he find us and furthermore he didn't follow up his thing still a god one of the endless hmm if you do not avail yourself of your powers speaking your own name creates a ooh hmm So apparently Folu is already something called an Endless. Okay. That was not how this enter the capital by any persuasion. Ooh, is his are his eyes bugging out? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there's a, it's a boss. Yep. Boss time. This is a Kafu. Yom's servants uses fire wind magical attacks, but we already took down one of his servants, so we're just going to Eldritch Flame. Okay. Oh, it's it's head spins. And it does. Holy crap with the number of hits. Um that's that was that's a lot of hits. Okay, when we get low on life, we might want to switch to dragon form. Let's see what items do we have? Rosia, vitamins. Yeah, I think we're gonna save those uh, those proteins. Alright, gonna physical attack for 500 damage almost. And we'll swing for another 2k almost put on him. Let's see, and our health is still fine, so I may transform the dragon for my turn. Okay. I'm not sure how much the ooh, what was that? Um. I don't know why he kind of went twice there. Did he get like a double turn or something? Let's see, a thousand hit points. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure exactly how much that Eldritch Flame did. I wasn't paying the closest of attention. So I guess we'll go ahead and go to Dragon Form. Astral. Or use his uh, aura, right? Oh crap, he uh, gets the Eldritch Flame off on me before I get to transform. That's not good. Hopefully I don't die. Uh, woo, barely. Barely yeah. lived. Oh, good. So go in the dragon form. And I don't remember seeing that little, little cutscene there. The first time we used Folu in dragon form. I don't, I don't remember seeing that. Because when I did it with you the first time, it was different. And this is a, is this not a different dragon form? I don't remember seeing all these skills. Let's eraser, category breath. Damage changed with remaining. Hmm. Remaining HP and defense. Okay. Cross strike. Final swing. Bing. Just bing and decide. And death. Okay, we're just gonna do a. No, we're gonna do a eraser. Because I know breath attacks are usually more powerful when you have higher HP. 
At least that's true in Breath of Fire 3. So while we have full life, we're gonna do a breath attack. Eraser. Ooh, it changes the environment and there's some symbols. And Okay. Oh, that's the dragon from the opening. Okay. I know that there's, uh, in addition to dragon transformation, there's also dragon evocation. And that- HOLY CRAP! <laughs> HOLY CRAP, SO MUCH DAMAGE! SO MUCH DAMAGE! Um, I know there's also dragon evocation, like you can summon a dragon for something, but then you can't summon it again until you rest it in. Which reminds me more of, like, uh, what it looks like in Breath of Fire 2, where you just su kind of summon the dragon instead of really transforming to it, but... Okay, and see, see that was zero, zero use. Can we use that again? Apparently so. Holy crap, long skill. We're gonna use the fast one. Long, oh, pass, X, okay. <laughs> you can skip the, you can skip the, uh, the attack animation. Okay, fire wind. Oh, he, he just immediately goes for fire wind. He doesn't like, have to combo it. And, however, he's not doing very much damage to Polo whatsoever. I want to see how much a physical swing can do. Physical swing from this astral form. Or... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not quite as much as the breath attack, but still quite a bit. Damn, Folu is almost dead. With a fire ward and ambrosia obtained. So yeah, I, I guess... His powers are slowly returning, so that's why the dragon form got a bit stronger. It went from... It was, I think it was the same one Ryu has, and the one Ryu has I know is called Aura, and that one was Astral. I think he's using the royal we there. The a mere mortal poseth no danger to us, even though your henchman just knocked me down to like 10% life. And I totally almost game over. Creature with your majesty just defeated us, but one of many I command. So apparently this guy's got a large stable of legendary Pokemon that he can send out against us. Furthermore, unless I'm mistaken, I believe that your other half is but recently born. Mm, other half! Other half. I, uh, given that, you know, they're sharing skills, I wonder if that could be Ryu. Hmm. Okay. Verily, I love that word, verily. Okay, so... So did Ryu, or Ryu, did Volu just transform into that? Already he has enough power to fly. Hmm. We just killed that thing, why is it still there? <laughs> anyway, so apparently... Something's going on. Oh, we're still with Folu. Okay. Here with the, uh, the, the, the flying wings, and we just killed this thing. Why is it able to pursue us? It's firing its lasers. It's scorching the earth with its lasers. Oh! I got shoot the whooped. Okay. To barrel roll, press C or R twice! And I'm not barrel rolling. I could mash R. I'm mashing R, but I'm not barrel rolling. So, that would have, that would have actually been funny if you could have controlled full loop and barrel rolled and stuff right there. Okay, so it looks like we are now in the... Uh, in the west. Apparently, wherever we think that uh, Elena may have been captured. And here's some Imperial Guards. How many trips is... How many trips does that make this month? Hmm. Suppose you have to be like that to make the kind of deals he does. Hmm. So yeah, so Marlock, the uh, the horny toad, he has a deal with this side with with the Empire. He lives on the other side, but he does black market dealings with the other side, which we're using for a benefit. And I think we're here in the big box. It's now shaking. Okay, the coast is clear. I'm not sure how we can tell the coast is clear. Apparently we have x-ray vision through the box, and I'm really not sure how we all fit in there. Um, 
Where's Urshan? Where's Urshan? Urshan better have come with us. I'll be mad. If Urshan's not here. But I, I guess Urshan's like not, like pertinent to the plot at least not yet. So. Okay, I don't want Cray in the party. I want Urshan. Why does this? Why does this game love Cray and hate Urshan? Anyway, we're gonna put Urshan in the party, and not Cray. And there's crates here, which means Urshan is gonna headbutt them, but do nothing for it. Okay. Can we climb down a ladder? No, we can't. This is just desert down there. Just desert. Things we can headbutt. Get, get loot. Get potions and stuff. Nope. Okay. So what's in here? What town are we in? What town are we in? We know where we are. Where are we? And this guy is... Oh, he's down there. See, that's the bad thing about games like this. Is like This guy looks like, oh, he's just right there. But no, he's actually way down there. Okay, there's a merchant here. Welcome! Weapons were brought by the Empire during the war. What are you buying? Okay, scram sacks. We already have this for Ryu. Magic wand. Steal that. Okay, this is stuff we already had. I think. Elegant cake. Look. Wait, isn't that the uh, last dominoes? Okay, yes. Yeah, more soul gems. Wait, okay, okay. We can. Let's see. The three equipment slots are weapon, armor, and everything else. So I think. Let's see, is that a decent enough upgrade for Nina? Yeah, that's like that's a that's a seven point upgrade for Nina. We're gonna buy that. <laughs> and Thank you. So you actually want to equip it? Chain, chain cap. I'm not sure why chain cap is a. Armor, but apparently it is, and that's only like a two-point upgrade. So I'm not Come gonna do that. Come back any time. Okay, let's equip that on Nina. I messed up and didn't equip it when I had the chance. Fancy dress, cause yeah, that's excellent for her to be wearing around. And we still have waist cloth on Ryu and Cray. Okay, so a new town for us to explore, and there's not there's not like awesome music in this town. It's just sand blowing, so that's really boring. Heart of Flyer with a lot of crates come in. Yeah, that would be that would be the one we were on, I, I would guess. Whoa, some slowdown. Okay. Alright. What are we buying? We are buying Eh, nothing too much that we want. A pretty looking woman came through here. A pretty woman. Pretty woman. So that might be uh, Elena, did we talk to this guy? Okay, this village is called Kyoin, after the soldiers who guard the Imperial Causeway. People of the bridge, okay. Okay, apparently the Empire has a different language. Now, I'm not sure it's- oh wait, never mind, I thought that was a guard with a helmet. But, uh, it's just a, uh, Manilo, or whatever they're called. See, the Causeway gate's finally going to open again. Hmm. Let's get back home and see my girlfriend again. Okay, so then we like automatically have to talk to multiple people. Imperial Causeway, which links the eastern continent of Levant, the western one Hesperia. Isn't Levant like a uh, like a region in Europe or the Middle East or something like that, like a Levantine? Which there's also that sword in uh, I think it's Norse mythology. Like Levantine, it's like the I think it's the big flaming sword that Cert uses. Which the first place I found out about that sword was from uh, from Nanoha. It's the sword that Signum uses. But uh, yeah, I tried to Wikipedia Levantine one time and try to pull up that sword, and it turns out it's not spelled the same way. But uh, anyway, apparently the western one is Hesperia, and I think the one we've been on is Levant. So apparently Hesperia is the land of the Empire, and that's a, uh, that's something from history or mythology or something as well. Do you know what it really is? No. It's not a bridge or causeway at all. It's an, oh, it's a magical gate that can transport people or things inst instantaneously. We need that, by the way, we need to develop teleportation technology, uh, in the real world, because that way we can avoid having to use gas and stuff. And this guy's now moving around. So, I guess... Ooh, ooh, yeah, we should headbutt people. Headbutt people for for good, for, for loot. It would be funny if we could actually, um, like, get good items besides Zinni. And by the way, how many apples do we have? We have 80 apples, so that should be pretty sufficient for right now. Anytime I go and farm apples, I'm going to pause the recording. 
so that we can do that off camera. And yeah, I think I'm going to be using the pause and resume features of Camp Camtasia a lot more because it's actually really, really handy. You know, it stops the timer as well, so that way I don't have to be concerned with how long the video is for real. And is this the, is this the teleportation gate? Okay, no, it's an elevator. I'm not sure how it runs, though. It must be some sort of magic elevator. It lifts itself up. Okay. So we're in some sort of a, a tower, and I'm surprised we didn't run into a random battle. So maybe there's not random battles in here. Or maybe, because, you know, it, I'm, I'd be shocked if there were any areas of Breath of Fire where the encounter rate is actually this low. Okay, so we're ascending a tower. Ascending a tower. No, oh, there's treasures for treasures. Finally, we get a random battle, eh? And we have a gong head, one of the most traditional Breath of Fire enemies. The weakness to win, because it's in the air, right? And yeah, I'm not sure how we're supposed to steal stuff. So, we're going to put... Prey attacking this guy. I guess spell version attacking. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, we, we hadn't killed the gong head before, but it was really easy. I know gong heads are some of the most basic enemies in the game. And a glass domino, I think that's just a helmet ex helmet accessory, if that makes any sense, that doesn't do too much. And uh, are we supposed to, like, get here? No. Okay. There's, like, weird there's symbols around there. So we can do more random battles and get more treasures. That's what everyone likes, right? Okay, we're just going to charge this. I already killed these enemies before. Poking around for treasures. Got no idea where we're going in this tower, but we're poking around for treasures. And yes, I'm aware I just went down. But uh, I didn't fully investigate on the lower floors. And are there nothing here? Nothing here? Are these the same? Because there's, there's like two segments. Come on, there's got to be something in one of these, right? Nothing here. I mean, it looks like a bare cupboard, but you never know what you might find. Sometimes you find worms and stuff in... in in cupboards, and why are there enemies in here again? Oh crap, Prey is actually like really low on life. I need to heal him up. I need to heal Prey. Okay, apples. Yeah, apples. Apples. Apples are so good. So good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Apple a day keeps having to use healing herbs away. That's what we're gonna say for this playthrough. Okay, this one is different. Anything here? Yeah, three healing herbs. Awesome. So, it looks like the one that actually looked different was the one, only one worth investigating, but we like to be thorough. We have to be very thorough. And there's another entry, entryway here. This, this tower is huge. Actually, it's not that big, but is that the way we came in? No, this is not the way we came in. Okay. Yeah, every so often I need to make sure to keep a check on the temperature of the laptop to make sure we don't overheat and get non-standard game over. Because non-standard game overs are really annoying. And this is a different room, I think. Or did that glow when I stepped on it? No. Okay. Weird. Kind of weird. All right. And got very basic enemies here. I'm just gonna auto battle this. Oh, Urshan! Urshan leveled up. I didn't get to see what she gained. I guess I'll get to see it when I rewatch re the video. If I do rewatch the video. And we're 20 minutes in and we haven't done much of anything except... Well, no, yes we have. We, we kind of killed a boss with Folu. Um, I don't know why I'm running back and forth. Okay, we're going to try to try to take the elevator. No, I want to go up. I'm trying to go up the tower, Urshan. Up the tower. Up the tower. Go up the tower with Urshan. You know, Nina's in the back because... Or we're not using Nina because her physical attacks are weak and we're mainly just... Uh, meleeing these enemies to death, so therefore she's not going to be too helpful with that. Or at least she she shouldn't be. Um, <laughs> most of the time, your caster characters do not have a adequate melee attack. And we already got that chest. Actually, I suppose I should check that, eh? Status. I mean, I mean, it's still going to be based on power, not wisdom, right? I know some things like staves in Final Fantasy Tactics are actually based on your MA stat instead of your physical attack stat. But I don't know if that's the case for Nina or not. Because if it is, then her having strength is completely useless. And Craig gets a level up. And we're still trying to find 
where we're supposed to go. Presumably, there we go. There's some stairs leading up. Okay, now we get a little bit bigger open room. And there's there's symbols here. We're gonna walk across the symbols. Doesn't look like it did anything. And lots of gong heads. One another great victory. More great victories. And get healing herbs. Okay, oh, here we go. Finally. Which floor do you want to go to? Um, I guess third floor. I mean, this is kind of similar to the, these other rooms that we've seen. Uh, okay, so we got that. Second floor. Did we? Did we get to go in here? I think we did. I think we went in here. So let's go to the first floor. Okay, this is different. There we go. Yeah, that looks like it might be an exit. And that kind of looks like an exit as well. Oh, there's a mouse and armor. Armor. We fought armor a while back. And uh, in the dream sequence, right? Yeah, I think we did. Blind and rest is what we have. Okay, we're gonna do physical attacks with these two. And we're gonna... No, actually, we're gonna send in Nina. She's going to do... Burn. She's gonna do burn on the armor. And Urshan is gonna follow that up with Eddie on the armor. So we can get some Firewind AoE going on. Snap. This is run the use defense. Okay, take out one of the mice. Burn, and hopefully Urshan will go next. Yes, Urshan will go next. And... Torch... everything. Or not, I want it KO. Wild Swing! Wild Swing for 230! Mmm. Big damage. Okay, we need to... Let's see. See, so this thing is res resistant to physical attacks, though. We're gonna have Nina go first. And have her use... Actually, Burn should probably suffice. And then... Then we'll have Ryu guard. Make sure he doesn't die. And Urshan should be able to finish off the mouse. Burn, and okay, the mouse actually escaped. Alright, good. No treasures. And we need to have Ryu ingest apples. Actually, we can go and use some prey as well. There we go. We're down to 60 apples. We need more apples, but I don't know when the next time we're gonna be able to get additional apples is. And what is up this way? Okay. Um, so I'm not sure how... Uh, did we have to ascend that whole tower just to get down here? That seems kind of strange. But anyway. So we're gonna go out this way. No, we're not, because it's not a way out. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. So now I'm officially lost. And... There's something out here for us. Hmm. So, we gotta find some way back into the world map, I guess. Hmm. And there's so many random battles, too. Oh, wait. Wait, but there's a... Okay, there's... How did I miss that? Probably because the camera wasn't rotated at the proper angle, eh? Oh, no, 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 Go back up. Go back up. Pro tip. Before you move, make sure you can see your characters so you can tell where you're moving to. Okay, there we go. Wait, this is where we came in. What if I say yes? Hmm. Okay. So there's no uh, inn or anything with this thing, right? I'm also not sure how we get down there. Wait, what? Oh, okay. This is this is where we where we landed, so to speak. So I guess we're gonna go back in the tower. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I guess we got most of the treasures in the tower. We got healing herbs, and whatever that other thing we got was in the chest. Um. It was a helmet thing, I think. Wait, how did I miss this before? Like, for serious. Okay, but anyway. So the elevator thing is right here. So I guess we'll... Oh my goodness. Control the character. There we go. Okay, let's go up to the fourth floor, I guess. Fourth floor. And... Yeah, how... Oh wait, there's, there's, there's some stairs up there. And... Which way did we come in? We're in the battles. Versus easy enemies. Okay, why can't Urshan one-shot a mouse again? Anyway, I guess because, we, well, for one thing, we've been sort of nerfing her power. At some point, I'll, next next Master, we get that, like, nerf speed. 
And we can't change the camera here. What is this? Okay, we're going up. Okay, apparently this was the way we were, we were supposed to go. Evidently. Okay. So this is the gateway. And the lift is going back down, which means we're going to have to jump off. Oh crap! Oh crap. We're up really high, which is bad if there's a thunderstorm. What's going on? And why does the bridge like suddenly disappear? And there's lightning focusing on one point that doesn't look natural to me. Pretty sure that's not how lightning works. Unless there's like one... There must be a lot of protons or positive things there. And there's some uh, the little slips of paper that ward off evil spirits or something. Making a portal. And is that supposed to happen? It's supposed to be some sort of teleporter. So... Okay, okay. I was afraid it was going to be like a boss or something like that. So let's rotate the camera so we can actually see where we're going. Once again, Park, here's the dude that Ryu broke his sword on his face. He says that's far enough, but we can just run. Yeah, this is uh, Blonde Roy Mustang. That's what we're going to call this guy until he gets another name. Blonde Roy Mustang. Because the suit looks really similar. Yeah, we did think we could do that, That which is why we're up here, you know? Hmm. Oh, did, did he just stick the tongue out? He, I think he just stuck his tongue out. I owe that runt over there what he did to me. Oh, what, you mean when I broke my sword on your face? Well, I've got a sword now that hits twice, so... Hmm. <laughs> Something tells me this guy is a bit stronger than he appears. And he's sticking his tongue out again. And he came alone for a reason. Does he have, like, wear tiger or something? Oh, no, he's gonna... He's gonna summon a monster in attack position. Yimachov, warrior spirit. It looks pretty much the same as before. Okay. Okay, Yimachov. Let's see if he has any skills. The charm is its weakness. Try a combo attack on it. Okay. So, we're gonna do, we're, we're, we're gonna do some hijinks. We're gonna try a burn, followed up by Urshan's Eddie, followed up by our use Blind. And I have no clue if this is gonna do combo properly or not, because I think the enemy may get a turn in between and interrupt our combo. Either that or maybe the combo just like instantly starts, like it automatically gets chained. Oh, Yumachan is off balance. Okay, so the, that blind was kind of pointless. Okay, regain this balance. So we're gonna keep doing. Oh no, he gets. He still gets a turn. And does lots of damage. Lots of AOE, okay. Well, we're gonna try that again. I don't know if, what good it did, because he's still got a turn. So we're gonna send Kray in. To do oh I forgot that he uh, he got slow. We're gonna send Kray in to do protect on Nina because she I believe is the most physical frail. Oh I don't know if that whirlwind was a physical attack or not. He kind of did like sword slashes and the sent out energy blades, so I'm not sure what that was. And we're not doing very good damage with spells, but he is off balance. So get Nina some defense up. Okay, and now we get a turn. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so we're gonna go with the uh, melee attacks this turn. Melee attacks. We're gonna have Kray go first. I believe Kray is faster. And, yeah, I'm just gonna have him... Just have Kray melee attack. And he's off balance, so we're gonna actually try for a risky shot. For a crit. Or he strikes twice. Oh, no, he's back on balance now. Oh, risky shot misses. Okay. I'm probably not going to go for that too much, because that... Ooh, that's a lot of damage that dealt to Ryu. We should probably send him in the back. Okay, we're going to put Nina up front. And have her... Heal should probably be sufficient, I guess. Heal up Ryu, who's in the back... Back, back, uh, back rank, I think is what that's called. 
And let's see. Uh, we're gonna try to slow him. And I wish I wish I knew what, what distracted did. Like it seems strange that it's just this question, question, question. Is it just like waste your turn? Uh, I don't know when that would ever be useful, but theoretically it could be. So get some life back on Ryu. Oh. And see if we can slow this guy. Nope. Pro I don't know, we, we might be able to. It may just have a low hit rate on the bosses. On a bosses. And he's got Sever. Which will deal... 145. Yeah, I like having the extra wisdom on Urshan that we've been gaining. Because that means Urshan is able to take physical or special hits a lot better. Special hits. Okay, whatever. I'm, we're going to bust that dragon form. And Prey is going to... Oh, I forgot he had this stuff. Uh, actually, we're gonna send in Nina and have her use Barrier on Urshan. And Urshan will just physical attack. Alright, so go to Dragon Form. And yeah, I'm not sure how we unlock additional dragons to transform into, or if there's gene splicing in this game like there is in Breath of Fire 3, which is really neat. Or if it's just like, oh, here's. You know, 12 different guys you can transform into. You don't get to, you know, pick and choose the combo abilities and stuff. So Urshan will take less magic damage for a while. Set up the light screen. Cyclone. So Cyclone. AoE wind damage looks like. So Urshan taking, yeah, instead of 300, 153. So that, that was a good call, looks like. And now Ryu is going to do... Oh, we can do the stuff with Hoa. So let's do Hoa and sever because that dealt pretty good damage for us in the past and i think it's water that we'd use after after wind so it'd be nice if we could like combo that as well but i'm not also not sure if that works because then fire wind is like dual elemental fire wind so i'm not sure how that would work uh but if it were to be i don't know we're gonna try eddie just to see if it works okay so here's blocked fire which theoretically means that there's other versions of Fall. Firewind for 160. This guy has a lot of resilience to damage. Oh, and yes! Yes, it, it did. It did combo. It did combo. So good, we got a 5-foot combo. And he's off balance. So, I guess we're gonna try that again. We're gonna do the same series of stuff again. Because I uh, wasted his turn and we dealt decent damage. And you know, a person's AP gets knocked out. Then whatever, she just stays in the back row with one turn, and it's all back. Okay. Okay, nice. Yeah, we're dealing over 500 around that that way. And it looks like he's getting actually 770, I can see on the combo. Ooh, and Nina is, Nina is hurting something fierce. Okay, so we need to... Um, see, we're actually going to have her get first turn. And... Probably heal will be sufficient on her. Let's see, reuse AP is decent, I suppose. Uh, we're, I guess we'll do a flame strike and have Urshan just physical attack. Although it would also okay heal. Started a combo. I'm not sure what it's. Um. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how that was a combo. That was a, a healing spell combo to a physical attack spell, huh? Uh, I I don't understand how that works. How that works out. Anyway, counterattack from Urshan. And yeah, Urshan needs to restore some life. So we're gonna go into healing mode for a little bit here. And have Ryu. See, he could just revert form and then uh, restore some AP, or maybe just stay in the back row for a while and then get stuff back for Dragon Form a little bit later time. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna heal up Urshan. <laughs> Yeah, this, this thing maybe not have having a lot of life, but it's definitely pretty resilient to damage. Okay. Swing on Urshan. Oh, and get reprisaled! Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is have Ryu... I need to have him revert form. We're gonna have him revert form to uh, save his AP. And then let's just go with some magic damage. With some damage. Okay, so Ryu reverts back to humanoid form. 
Actually, the dragon form is still kind of humanoid. So... Yeah, this one's definitely a lot stronger than the previous one was. The Cyclone and... Urshan does not have her barrier up this time. She's gonna take a lot of damage. I thought it... Well, actually, Ryu still took more. Um, so we're gonna have Prey come up and use Protect on, I guess, Nina again. And Nina's gonna start uh, healing people. Starting with... No, starting with herself. The one who's glowing is the target of the action, Cooper. Don't forget. And let's do her on uh, Urshan. And Ryu is just kind of chilling in the back row for a little bit. Oh, well, we may be able to get a combo off with Protect and Heal. Heal... Yes, plus 4%. But, you know, that's, I guess that's good enough, too. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna heal up Ryu a little bit. And, let's see, and wait for his AP to regen a little bit. Okay, 7 AP back, that's good. Alright, Protect on... I don't have much point to do with Urshan. Whatever, we'll just do a uh, melee attack with Prey. And... Do that as well. Why, why do I keep going to special? Just do physical attack solution. Okay. So we're just gonna stall around and use AP. Kind of get back up there. This is a long boss fight. That's pretty resilient. Of course, I'm, I'm also I'll, I'm usually stuck in defense mode. That did massive damage. But I don't think we have an AOE heal spell. We're just gonna physical attack and have Nina. And I wish she had a like a small healing on everybody. Mm. Barrier only lasts for three rounds, so I'm not really gonna be too concerned with using it. Mm. Yeah, we're just gonna keep throwing. Actually, we're gonna start using. Um, we're gonna start using healing herbs. I think. Yeah, let's use healing herbs because. Wait, I wonder who does more damage. Okay, we're gonna have both Kray and Urshan attack this turn. I need to check this out. Yeah, we'll do this one. Okay, Kray hit for 105 or one. I almost said 105. 185. And Urshan hits for 161. So Kray's actually hitting a little bit harder. And Urshan is not the most accurate character in the world. But I do want to keep her in the front lines because she does the counters with her her awesome cape of awesome. So we're gonna have Kray be a physical attacker and just kind of heal around some damage and stuff. While we wait for Ryu to get his AP back, which should be next turn. He's got a pretty big blue bar right now. Okay, come on. I'm just not using the fast button because I'm starting to get starting to get irked. Okay, so, wait, what was that? Um. Oh, you guys see this, the little gray number? I just noticed this. Um, so... So, Kray has 19 AP, but the gray number shows you how much... What did I say we are gonna call that? Blue AP or temporary AP? Uh, temporary AP. We have 28 temporary AP that we can use for the rest of this fight. So we're gonna use, and I believe that gets used first. So we're gonna use that with Ryu. And then... Let's go ahead and start doing Sever... And I guess we'll keep start doing that. After this, we're going to start using our main offense that we were doing, which was a walk, fired by two wind attacks to do uh, very many hits in a combo. And yeah, Nina's AP is lowering. Oh, but Urshan decided to strike the killing blow. Strike the killing blow. But she's just too good for this game. 2,000 experience. Ryu levels up, and Nina is very close as well. And we get very bad power gain. It's not what I want. But we get some wisdom. And an ice punch, which I think we already had. And I think we upgraded to the raptor claws version. Is that right? Okay, so yeah, that guy was a lot harder, but we weren't... We, weren't eh, we were not really threatened, but it was just a long defensive struggle. And we need to run through that portal. Well, run through the portal. Run. Run, run, characters. Yes, go, 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 go. Go, 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 Run faster, run faster, run faster. Jump, 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 you two Urshan. You're with us somehow. By RPG logic. 
the rest of your party is like contained within you. A dragon? But that's not possible. Apparently, was, hey, was he commenting? Did he comment? Why can't I talk today? I, 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 I'm like, i just gonna be quiet because I can't talk today. And Nina is tired because she doesn't work out. I don't work out either. If I had to run that fast, I would be completely out of breath. Completely out of breath. Won't be anyone coming after us for a while, but we need to get back to the world map. So I told you guys in the comments that I was going to fish, but now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. But I guess if we find next time we find the fishing spot that I can get to, I'm probably going to fish, and I'll, I'll fish on camera. However, it'll just be at the end of the video. So if you don't want to watch fishing, you can just close the video, and I'll save later days, and then you can just close the video then. So I also thought about doing it as like a bonus, like extra episode, but that would just be kind of strange. So I think we'll just do it at the end of the episode, whenever I decide to do it. Okay, so... I have no clue where we are now, except that we're on... We're in search of the princess, and apparently we're in Hesperia, is all I know. I don't know, like, the town we're now in. And yeah, this place is ripped straight out of some Chinese, Japanese-type uh, roofs and stuff. And another one of these towers, with the, uh, the causeway... Which is really a teleportation thingy, and here's this. So let's go up to uh, third floor, I guess. Correction, let's go down to the third floor, because that makes perfect sense. And pick up, and two ammonias, so that's good. Get some resur yeah, resurrection items going on. And uh, we now have the uh, Folu battle music, so I'm gonna guess that that means the battle music is determined by- <laughs> look at the gong hits when they get whacked. That's funny. Ooh, critical for almost a thousand damage from Urshan. And Nina levels up. Yes, she does. Get some wisdom and AP. Yeah, I'm glad we can change our masters from the uh, camp, because I don't know that we're gonna be able to get back to Rolf anytime soon. Which I guess is one good thing, because parts of the map become blocked off to you in this game, evidently. Um, what was I going on about again? Oh, the music, yeah. So it looks like which music it plays depends on where you are. So we're gonna send in... And we're gonna create this physical attack. I wanna use Snooze with Nina. And then use... Rest of you. Get some get some permanent AP back. And the start means it does damage. Oh, that's so cute. When they use rest, they say Oyasumi, which is hyper cute. So it looks like we did some we did combos on our AP restoration. And Nina is a, is sleepy. Nina's asleep. But we can have her. Look at that. Look at Urshan regaining AP. It's so crazy. Okay, we're gonna have Ryu do more rest, but we're gonna send. Yeah, we're gonna sub in Urshan so that we don't have to uh, worry with Nina's sleep turns. Yeah. See, rest is just overall better, but I like the sound they make when they use snooze. They say uh, Oyasumi, which means night. Uh, what does that roughly translate to? Uh, Good night, I guess. Yeah, good night. It's probably what it would trans translate to in English. How much life does this thing have? Wow, not very much. Actually, we're gonna have a few attack first. He's faster. Yeah, I keep getting messed up sometimes with the. Uh... I, I like this feature, but sometimes it confuses me. Like the, and you, you can tell your characters what order to act in. And if I have this right, um. Like, everyone goes at the- like, wh whoever acts first goes whenever they would go, and whoever acts second goes when they would go, unless they have to wait on the other person to go. <laughs> That's kind of difficult to explain, but I, I think I understand how it works. Okay, I just want to get to, like, a save point or something, because we're already at almost 50 minutes. So I want to get out to like a town or something because I'm, I'm tired of these towers. I don't want to deal with these towers next video. So yeah, unfortunately, no fishing this video. I'm sorry, but I can't fish in a tower, so I don't see any bodies of water. And more random battles. 
We're gonna do this random battle, and then any other random battles in this tower, I'm probably just gonna pause so that we don't have to worry about them affecting the video time. Okay, come on. Come on. Find the exit, Ryu. Alters, uh... Anything here? Vitamin. I'm gonna check the other ones off camera. And yeah, there was nothing in the other one, so that just saved you guys a little bit of time. And I switched Urshan in the front also. Okay. The only thing I don't like about resuming is that I then have to click back on the emulator. Okay, why do I keep going to the same places? Well, I guess, I suppose we could go to the second floor with the elevator. Or actually, we can go to the fourth floor as well. Okay, more random battles against... Okay, and actually, Cray died in that random battle because his his uh, max max HP max HP was not enough. And what else happened? Oh, I had to heal everyone up with apples as well. Because we're still trying to find our way out of this stupid tower. And there's some light here. Please tell me this is the way out of the tower. No, there's. <sighs> I'm tired of towers. I don't want this video to be over an hour. Come on. Come on. We don't want hour-long videos. We're trying to avoid that. I mean, have I tried going down to the first floor? I thought I did. I thought I went to, to that floor. But maybe I didn't. Um, evidently I did not. What floor did I go to? I guess I went to the third floor. <sighs> okay, whatever. So we're out here and there's a mo mollusk and stuff. For some reason over there. And we're gonna get into an altercation with these guards. I'm gonna live outside. Procure you, Ulu. Okay. Captain Rosso. Hmm. Oh. So I guess the guy who I've been calling blonde haired Roy Mustang is Rosso. So that's start, still starts with R. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it here, guys. And so this video, we killed the boss with Fulu, and we got to the Hesperia side of the world. We have been on the Levant side, but now we're in the Hesperia side of the world, which means we're gonna look for Princess Alina over here. And this is the end of part 11. I forgot to do the showing you guys the safe states last video, but we did it anyway. So I'll see you guys then for maybe fishing, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to fish in the desert, but we'll see if there's anything on the world map. See if we can even get to the world map. And more looking for the princess, and hopefully less fumbling around through towers, because that stuff was really annoying. Later days.